Hello guys, welcome to the review of Tomb Raider Underworld for the PlayStation 3. Okay, sorry about my hair right there as you can see. Maybe you can't see. Whatever. Uh, Tomb Raider Underworld is a... It's the... I think it's the 11th edition to the Tomb Raider series. And they've been around for a long, long time. And... Um, to, damn. I'm sorry for this. Hold on. Okay, so, um, yeah, Tomb Raider... Uh, it's a very, it's more, it's basically the same story as um, Legend, but they say it continues off of Legend, but it actually does continue off of Anniversary. And that's because um, Natla comes back uh, into the Tomb Raider series, and you have to fight her and defend her. So here I'm just going to show you guys some uh, cool levels and all that. So yeah, Tomb Raider, this is, um, there's only three, there's only three chapters, three levels, three different areas you get to fight in, but it, um, it takes about maybe an hour, an hour to, an hour and a half to play. This game has a maximum of about 10 hours of gameplay, I would say. So it's longer than the other Tomb Raider games. But again, um, it's more frustrating and the controls are a lot different. So you have to get used to the controls. Uh, she does look, I would say, more sexier um, than she did in the past Tomb Raider games. Especially um, on the PlayStation 3 and the 360. So here's um, just like the last level, whatever. Can you hold on for a sec, guys? One sec. Hope that took care of the lights. Okay, so here we go. As you can see, as you can see, um, she's more fluent and she behaves um better in the environments than she ever did before. That was a close one. Here we go. The last level is pretty challenging. Um, you have to use a lot of skill. You have to use a lot of skill to um, defeat Natla in the last level. And you now have Thor's hammer. Not supposed to hit that one. You now have Thor's hammer in your position, which is the main story. So instead of searching for Excalibur, you're now searching for Thor's hammer. And I do have Thor's hammer, as you can see. Right here. Uh, something else that's changed is when you're targeting an enemy, you can now... Um, do a split targeting system means you can target two enemies at the same time. Uh, that's really helpful in a way, and I'm really glad that they uh, chose to do that. Which one am I supposed to bounce off again? So yeah, like I said before, lots you have to use a lot of skill. I remember how to do this again. 
Ah, oh, come on. And there I just died. As you can see. So, um, let's go to a different level. So definitely, um, Tomb Raider Emerald, definite buy if you're a fan of the series. As you can see, that was like a slow motion. So here's Thor's hammer, as you can see. Um, it's kind of like Excalibur, how you, um, how, you know, how you wield it and it throws enemies. Like in Tomb Raider Legend, you know how you had Excalibur and everything? It's kind of like that. One thing that's really strange is that they changed Laura from a righty to a lefty. As you can see, when she holds um, Thor's hammer, she holds it in, your, in her left hand. And when she holds her shotgun, she holds it on her left side. And you still have those double pistols, the classic double pistols that do make a return. So if I can get this to... Come on, where am I supposed to go? Okay, I'm supposed to go up. I need to go up. Up. There we go. I just died again. Here. Wow. Told you guys we were going to go to a different level. Anyway, that was the last level. So that was a little spoiler. So let's go quit that and... Quit, quit, quit. Where's quit? Is there like no quit? Can you quit? Um, I already beat Tomb Raider Underworld, so I already know what happens. I don't know why it's not gonna let you quit. Audio visual extras. Main menu, there's no main menu. Okay, so here's a little another gripe. You can't do quick game or anything. At least I don't know how. Can I go back to quit? Okay, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna have to go to the menu and we have to restart that, I'm sorry. Someone forgot to put a quit option in there. Okay. So yeah, two meter on a roll. Um, one thing, another thing that's new is that you can now sprint instead of just running forward. You can now sprint, and you do sprint kind of fast, and that's a good, good way to put it. It's nice when it's nice to get it, um, get out of trouble if you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, it's just very nicely done, especially if you just want to get to a level, get through a level quicker. Um, now, to, this is one of my, what I really hate about this, I'm, and I'm sorry about this, something I really hate, there is no, um, uh, sorry, there is no Croft Manor. So, I'm sorry guys, there is no Croft Manor in Tomb Raider Underworld. And to tell you the truth, I was really looking forward to um, playing new redesigned Croft Manor. But, the reason why I think is because in, this, because in the story mode, your house gets blown up. Yeah. Bye bye. Blown up. Instead, they give you a treasure hunt option. Which I thought was Croft Manor at first, but it wasn't. It actually, um, you start at the beginning of the game, and uh, you have all the all the corridors unlocked, all the doors, um, all the traps. That, I mean, you have basically you can go in any room, and you have to search through the treasure throughout the game, with um, no with no enemies at all. So it's kind of so that's kind of telling you saying you know don't look for the treasure beat the game and then and then um start playing. I'm sorry, this is the only level I think we can do. So yeah, you might think, well that sucks that there's no crop man. I mean that was one of the that was one of the core the core reasons of why Tomb Raider was a really good success. Because I know I used to just play around in Croft Manor all the time. I mean, 
after I beat the game, I would go straight to my main menu, go to Croft Manor, and start unlocking all the treasures. So yeah, that's kind of like saying, well, this is a very different Tomb Raider game. But at the same thing, it's always it's always the better one too. Um, I'll show you guys a sprint option in actually the next part. Okay, guys. So.